out of the trenches, out of that valley, not thinking of every day. Yes. Yes. And I won't stop thinking. That's right. Yes. That's right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just, I thank God. Hope anything that was said today was clear. Yes. 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 I don't want to say too much. I say that all the time. I'm say it in my head before I even get up here. I, I just want whatever it is He wants to do in my life, whatever He wants to use me for. Let me be an example to you and also to myself as well. All right. Yes. Yes. That he showed himself mighty and strong truly. Amen. Not just want to give his name the praise. I ask you to pray for me as I pray for you. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And we do thank God for his word. Amen. Let's give our minister Daniel another hand in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the book of Romans, the fifth chapter. And I just want to read this real quick as he was ministering a, a wonderful, wonderful word. To give us a reminder of the amazing, unfailing, yeah. reckless love of our God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when you know the love of God, the love of God compels you to love yeah. everybody around you. Yeah. And, and, and book of Romans, the fifth chapter, and the fifth verse, it says, And hope make him not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely, for a righteous man will one die. Yet preventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Thank you, Lord. Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Now listen to verse number 10, it's, it's, it's so good. For if when we were enemies, uh -huh. for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For unto the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. 
but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, have abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that said, so is the free gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense, offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one. Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Yes, Lord. For all of the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Yes, Lord Jesus. That as sin has reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. And somebody said there was a lot of reading. Simplify it. It simply means you were wrong and he is right. That's right. And because he is right he makes all your wrong right. completely seem like nothing. That's right. His blood has covered us all. And His love has covered us all. In order that we all might be able to be made the righteousness of God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. He loved us enough while we were His enemies. We were not His friends. We were not His children. We were his enemies. And love calls a man to die for his enemies. In order that we might be saved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, what love. One of the writers would say, what matter of love is this? That's right. Sometimes, brother, you just got to think, what love is this? Amen, amen, amen. That a man would die somebody like me and you might be that person today that says could nobody love me the way that I am and how I do it and what I've done and things I've said but minister Daniel came today to let us know regardless of what you've done that's right that's right I wish I had witnesses in here regardless of what you said yes God still loves you yeah. And he loved you enough to die for you. That you might live for him. And somebody needs to make a decision that since he died for me, I will live for him. I wonder if we got one in here today that says because he died for me, I'll live for him. And the process is very simple. All you got to do is repent of your sin. Turn away from the sins that he died for, that he shed his blood for. Repent of those sins. And then be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That that blood may be applied to your life to wash away every sin. And somebody will say, Well, after I do all that, I'll go back to the sin and I'll. I'll go back to what I was doing but there's good news he said I'll give you my spirit yeah. I'll fill you with the Holy Ghost yeah. and I'll help you to walk 
right, talk right, laugh right, do right. I'll give you power. Because after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall have power. Somebody said, well, I can't stop drinking. Get the Holy Ghost. Oh, I wish I had witnesses in here. I can't stop smoking. Get the Holy Ghost. I can't stop fornicating. Get the Holy Ghost and he'll give you power. And he loved us enough that he would die. And God is calling somebody to death. Come unto me, all ye that live and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In order for God to give you rest, you got to be tired. I feel mighty good today. You got to be tired of living. You got to be tired of doing what you're doing. If you get to the place where you're tired, going around in circles, doing what you're doing, Jesus said, Come unto me. All you got to do is come to me. And I will give you rest. I will give you rest from your soul. Somebody needs to come to Jesus today. Standing all over the building. We're going home. But somebody needs to come to Jesus. The saints of old would sing a song and say, Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Right now. Right now. He will save you. He will heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll make you whole. Just come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Right now. We got a pool, we got clothes, and we got water. If somebody wants to give their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll baptize you today in the name of Jesus Christ so that you can become a new creature in Jesus Christ. Is there one that want to turn their life over to the Lord? We got six that will pray with you, pray for you. All you got to do is make one decision. One decision, and one decision can change your life. One decision can make you brand new. Somebody will ask us, well, how you know? Because such was some of you. We didn't always look like we look bad. We didn't always talk like we talk now. Some of us was constant drinking, smoking. Sleeping with everybody, getting high on Saturday nights and trying to recover from a hangover on Sunday morning. Such was some of you, but now we're washed. Lord, I praise you. Now we're clean. Lord, it's so the love of God, the power of the Holy Ghost. That name, Jesus Christ. Make us like we are. And today you can be the same way. Just make the decision to come to Jesus. Why it is today. Do we have one that want to change their life? Turn it over to the Lord. Is there anybody that just want prayer? Just want strength. Just want God to help you. God to come for you, deliver you. We'll pray with you today. God will strengthen you. In the name of Jesus. I will pray for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brother Darren, the Lord gonna finish what he started. Just, just hang on in there. Hold on to it. Believe on him. Trust in his word. God will do it. Just what he said. And not only will he do it, I believe God will do it right now. Oh, I ain't got no witnesses. I said, I believe God will do it right now. In the name of Jesus. Every heart praying, every mouth open. As 
we pray by our brother, the most gracious and eternal God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. God, we thank you, my brother. And we thank you for the work that you've already started in him. And God, we ask you to complete the work. He's already repented of his sins, been down in order in your name. Now, God, we ask you that you look upon him and fill him with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit. God, fill him. And able him to walk right, talk right, and live right. And every stronghold that seems to hold him, we pray, God, that your anointing will overshadow him. Yes, Lord. God, your anointing will destroy every yoke. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray, God, that you'll make him a soldier in your heart. Yes, army. yes, Lord. Praise him up, Lord. In the name of Jesus, translate him from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dead son. And sit on the wall and all men might see the change that you've done in his life. And God that the change will draw other people to you. We pray the next time that he walks through these doors that his family walks in with him. Yes. See the change yes. that you've done in his life. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we pray. Raise up another man that can lead this generation. And stand up and follow you. We rebuke the hand of the enemy even now that will seek to devour, that will seek to take in his life, that will seek to watch him drown in his struggle. Oh, we know a man from Galilee. Yes, Lord. That has come to set us free and whom the sun set free. Yes. For you said in your heart, when we are weak, then we are strong. Because your grace is sufficient. And how will we do God give them grace. For you resist the proud, but you give grace unto the heart. And grace upon grace. Give them strength. You know, if it ain't going, if it ain't Things that she battles with. But God, right now, in the name of Jesus.